How can we take the biologically active substances used in traditional African medicine and then study them systematically so they can be used sustainably? This is the question being addressed by the German Cameroonian graduate school, Yabinapa. Together with Cameroonian scientists, Bielefeld University has been building up the bilateral graduate school in Cameroon's capital, Yaoundé, since 2016. The partner is the University of Yaoundé One, the largest in the Republic of Cameroon, with more than 60,000 students. The Yabinapa project trains doctoral and postdoc students from Cameroon and other African countries, mostly from the fields of chemistry, biology and pharmaceutics. The project is coordinated by professors Bruno Lenter and Norbert Seewald. They agree that research on traditional herbal medicine gives an important boost to development in Cameroonian society. Quality of life is also one of the sustainable development goals of the UN. And when you look at the health system here in Cameroon, um, you, you will recognize that uh, synthetic drugs produced in the industrialized countries are available, but they are available only at an international price. So uh, most of the Cameroonian population cannot afford these uh, drugs. And most of the Cameroonian population trust and rely on traditional medicine, African traditional medicine, which is very rich in uh, phytomedicine, in, in plant-derived medicine. To gather the source materials for research on traditional medicines, the doctoral students first have to leave the labs in the capital and gather the corresponding plants in the Cameroonian forests. An experienced ethnobotanist guides the scientists through the dense undergrowth to the places where the various plants can be found that traditional healers administer to their patients. When they find promising plants, the researchers take samples to analyze when they get back to the laboratory. For Professor Lenta, Yabinapa is not just about identifying and making use of active substances, it's also about improving doctoral training at the university. We are learning very much from Bielefeld, who has long experience on the training of PhD students. Now, if we follow the uh, methodology or the structure of training in Bielefeld, our students will be very competent because we have a lot of training that will bring a lot of add value to what we were doing before. So. We have a lot of training, interesting training, and we copy this model from the University of Bielefeld. At the end of the training, a student, if he follows the methodology and instruction of the graduate school, he will be able to establish himself, to create even his enterprise in formulation of phytodrugs, and this is, I think, we, we have to thank the University of Bielefeld for this type of cooperation and for the support. We are very happy for it. Some doctoral students have the opportunity to spend time working in Bielefeld. There they can do research with special instruments that are currently not yet available in Yaoundé. With the help of this technology, they can determine the molecular structure of potential active substances. There is a lot of techniques the, a lot of uh, instruments which, is, uh, which are available in Germany but which are not available in Cameroon. So when the students from Cameroon arrive in Germany, they learn a lot and they are able to transfer this knowledge to the others in Cameroon later. For the Vice-Rector of the University of Yaoundé One, the cooperation between the departments in Bielefeld and Yaoundé is exemplary. For the University of Yaoundé One, it means a model type of cooperation because it satisfies both the human resource dimension and the equipment dimension. Human resource dimension because it allows us 
to go to Germany to update our knowledge. And it, it allows also German teams to come here in order to have a better idea of our context of research. So therefore, it is a win-win situation. Uh, furthermore, we also acquire updated equipments, which are very important to do up-to-date research, of course. So in both of these aspects, we have what I consider to be horizontal cooperation, not vertical cooperation, which is, I think, a bit uh, update, uh, outdated today. The Yabinapa project is being backed by the German Academic Exchange Service, the DAAD, with funds from the Federal Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development. The funding program supports the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. We are in the very uh, good situation that uh, the DAAD um, is not only funding uh, stipends and persons, but we are also able to establish substantial infrastructure here in Yaounde. And uh, this is important for the project because uh, our intention is to give uh, the scientists in Yaounde who are highly capable and internationally renowned uh, the possibility of doing research here independently. And therefore we are establishing infrastructure. So in the frame of Yabinapa we bought several state-of-the-art equipments for, for Yaounde uh, and directly shipped it to Cameroon. And one of the devices we use there uh, is the LCMS, it's a special um, yeah, device which is unique in Cameroon so far. And uh, it is used to uh, separate the compounds of natural extracts uh, into its single components. And with this device we are able to identify which compound it is and uh, the amount of each compound in an extract so that we can prepare standardized extracts uh, with a certain quality so that each extract is the same. To study the pathogens causing leishmaniasis, it was possible to set up a particularly securely equipped laboratory. The hair is great because we have been able to uh, have up-to-date equipment. Yeah, we have received a Manos AD uh, freezer. We have received uh, biosafety cabinets, incubators, and so on. These are the basic equipment for drug discovery research. Once a year, nearly all members of the project meet up in Yaounde. They use lectures and discussions to exchange information on their new findings. Scientists from partner universities in Cameroon and further African countries also take part in the conference. The doctoral students present their preliminary findings to the plenum and have to face what are at times critical questions. Individual healers and scientists also present herbal medicines that are already used in Cameroon. The members of the International Advisory Board also boost the project in important ways during these meetings, for example, regarding how to cooperate with traditional healers. I think what's very important uh, to give a sense of an equal partnership, so that traditional healers have the feeling that they are part of a team, together with researchers, and if people think of how they would like to work with other researchers, it's the same principles that apply to a partnership with traditional healers. So that means data sharing, that means transparency, it means that results are communicated back to healers and decision making is done in a way that uh, traditional healers also have a say. I think that would be probably the most important thing. During the annual conference, the Yabinapa coordinators also meet the members of the rector's office at the University of Yaoundé. In 2019, the vice-rector of Bielefeld University also travelled to Cameroon because Bielefeld University greatly values the cooperation with Yaoundé One. It is definitely our most important project on the African continent. We do have many different international relations to universities on all continents, but um, in Africa this is our um, cooperation that is the strongest. And this is so because we have close connections not only in the Faculty of Chemistry but also in the Faculty of Linguistics and Literature. And we even try to broaden that um, relationships and include other faculties. 
and we are very happy that um, we also try to have a closer relationship on an institutional level. And um, my visit at um, Cameroon at Yaoundé University was a very important step forward in this direction. Research in the Yabinapa network is now in full swing and the participants hope they'll soon be able to present results that can be used to develop medicinal substances. The long-term goal is to establish an African center of excellence.